वन थ्री फाइव सेवन नाइन इलेवन डू यू नो वॉट काइंड ऑफ सीक्वेंस इज दिस येस दैट्स राइट दिस इज कॉल्ड एन एरथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन बट वाई डू यू कॉल दम एज एन एरथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन Why can't you call it as just a sequence of numbers? Today in this video we are going to learn the basic concepts of arithmetic progression and some very important questions. Hi friends, my name is Revathi and welcome to Math Simplified. To learn the basic concepts of arithmetic progression, let's see an example. Here, as we know, one is the first term of the sequence, so we will denote it as small letter a. Now, for a sequence to be an arithmetic progression, they should have a common difference. And what do you mean by a common difference? That is, the difference between a term and its previous term. Here five minus three, it is two. What about here? Nine minus seven, it is two. So as we move on, we will get the same difference that is two. So this sequence has a common difference and that is two. So when a sequence has a common difference, they are said to be in an arithmetic progression. But how do you find the last term of the sequence? or the last term of the arithmetic progression there is a formula here we will denote it as the nth term so nth term is defined as a n or you can write it as t n or you can denote it as small letter l which means the last term so this is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d where a is the first term and n is the number of terms and d is the common difference now let us find the fifth term of this ap so it becomes a 5 So a five is equal to what is the first term here? It is one. So one plus n is five. Five minus one into d. D is two. So what is five minus one? It is four. So this is equal to one plus. Five minus one is four into two. That is one plus eight, which is equal to nine. So now let's check if the fifth term of this sequence is nine. This is the first term, one, a one, a two. That is how we denote it as second term, a three, a four, and a five. So here it is nine. So To find the nth term, you can find the twenty-fifth term of this AP. You can find the twentieth term of that AP. For all this case, you just need to change. If it is a ten, for instead of n, you will write it as ten, and a and d, you will get it from the AP. Now let's see another example. Eight, seven, six, five, four. etc as you can see the numbers are decreasing but do they form an ap absolutely yes how you have the first term 8 and do they have a common difference how to find the common difference the common difference means you will take the difference between a term and its previous term here it is negative 1 7 minus 8 is negative 1 you will take the next set here 5 minus 6 it is again negative 1 so they have a common difference negative 1 throughout so this sequence also form an ap how about this sequence 
5, 5, etc. Do they form an EP? Even though they are same, they do have a common difference. Here 5 minus 5, which is 0. So even if you take the next set also, you will find the common difference as 0. So they form an AP. Now be ready with your pen and paper. We are going to solve some important questions. Let's move on to our first question. Which term of the AP 5, 2, negative 1, etc. is negative 49? So you need to find which term is negative 49. So here in the given AP, you know what is A, that is the first term is 5. And the common difference D is equal to the difference between the term and its previous term. So it is 2 minus 5 which is equal to negative 3. Now we will assume negative 49 as the nth term. So let a n is equal to negative 49. So you know the formula for finding the nth term that is a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to negative 49. So here a is 5 plus n you need to find. So n minus 1 into negative 3 is equal to negative 49. Now you will transpose 5 to the other side so it becomes negative 5. So n minus 1 into negative 3 is equal to negative 49 minus 5. So here negative 49 minus 5 will become negative 54. So this becomes negative 54 and what is n minus 1 here? n minus 1 is equal to negative 54 divided by negative 3. So here n minus 1 is equal to positive 18. So n is equal to 18 plus 1 is equal to 19. So here negative 49 is the 19th term of the given AP. Let's move on to the next question. Find the 10th term of the sequence root 2, root 8, root 18 etc. So here you need to find the 10th term that is a 10 but here the sequence are given in roots the numbers are inside the roots we'll try to simplify it because then the calculations will be easy so first i'll write root 2 you can write it as root 2 itself but root 8 can be written as 2 root 2 okay and root 18 can be written as 3 root 2 and goes on. So now A, the first term is root 2 and common difference D is equal to the difference of the term and its previous term. So 2 root 2 minus root 2 that is 1 root 2. You will not write 1 root 2, you will write it as root 2 itself. You will take the coefficient of root 2 that is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So, the common difference is root 2. Now, what is n? n is 10. So, now you need to find the 10th term that is a 10. So, a 10 is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. That is the formula for finding the nth term. So, what is a here? Root 2 plus n minus 1 into d is 10 minus 1 into root 2. That is root 2 plus 10 minus 1 is 9 root 2. The answer is 10 root 2. But this is a simplified form. But in the question all the numbers were inside the roots. So can you make it like that? So 10 root 2 can be written as inside you can write 100 into 2. That is root 200 is the answer. So root 200 is the 10th term of the given sequence. Moving on to the next question. Find whether negative 150 is a term of AP 17, 12, 7, 2 etc. 
so here depending upon the value of n you will be able to find whether negative 150 is a term of the given AP so first we need to find the first term and the common difference so here A is equal to 17 common difference D is equal to 12 minus 17 and that is negative 5 you will assume negative 150 as the nth term so a n is equal to negative 150 now you will write the formula for a n that is a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to negative 150 here a is 17 plus you need to find the value of n so you will write n minus 1 into negative 5 is equal to negative 150 now you will take 17 to the other side it becomes negative 17 over there so n minus 1 into negative 5 is equal to negative 150 minus 17 so this becomes n minus 1 into negative 5 is equal to negative 150 minus 17 will become negative 167 so here n minus 1 is equal to negative 167 divided by negative 5 so you can cancel the negative sign so n is equal to negative 1 moves to the RHS so it becomes 167 by 5 plus 1 so n is equal to 167 plus 5 divided by 5 you took the lcm so it becomes 172 by 5 so here n is not a natural number so you cannot say negative 150 is a term of the given ap moving on to the next how many two digit numbers are divisible by 3? So let's start with 10. 10 is not divisible by 3. Then 11. But 12 is divisible by 3. So we'll start off with 12. Then we have 15. Then we have 18. Etc. The last term will be 99. So here... You need to find the value of n that is how many two digit numbers are there. So we have got the nth term as 99. So we'll start off with the first term a is equal to 12. Common difference d is 15 minus 12 that is 3. And we have nth term as 99. Now what is nth term formula? a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 99 that is 12 plus you need to find the value of n so n minus 1 into 3 is equal to 99 so now we will find n minus 1 into 3 equal to so we are going to transpose 12 to the other side so n minus 1 into 3 is equal to 99 minus 12 that is 87 so here n minus 1 is equal to 87 divided by 3 so n minus 1 will become 29 and n is equal to 29 plus 1 will be 30 so there are 30 such two digit numbers that are divisible by 3. Moving on to the next question. What is the next term of an AP? Root 7, root 28, root 63, etc. Here all the numbers are inside the root. So we will try to simplify it for easy calculations. So root 7 can be written as root 7 itself. And root 28, when you prime factorize, you can see it can be written as 2 root 7. And root 63 can be written as 3 root 7, etc. So here, the first term is root 7. And what is the common difference? Common difference is 2 root 7 minus root 7. That is, d is equal to root 7. 
So to find the next term, we will add root 7 to the previous term. So next term is equal to, you have 3 root 7, you need to find the next term. So 3 root 7 plus root 7 and you will get it as 3 plus 1 that is 4 root 7. Now this is a simplified form. You can make it as the number inside the root. For that you can write it as square root of 4 into 4 into 7. It becomes root 1 1 2. So the next term of the given AP is square root of 1 1 2. Now let's move on to the last question of this video. Find the 37th term of the given AP, root x, 3 root x, 5 root x, etc. So here you need to find the 37th term which means A37. So here the first term A is equal to root x, common difference D is equal to 3 root x minus root x which is equal to 3 minus 1 that is 2 root x. Now you need to find A37. So here instead of N you will mention 37. So that is equal to A plus that is root x plus 37 minus 1 into D that is 2 root x which is equal to root x plus 37 minus 1 is 36 into 2 root x. So it is equal to root x plus 72 root x. Here the coefficient of root x is 1. So 1 plus 72 is 73 root x. So 73 root x is the 37th term of the given AP. In this video, we learned the basic concepts of an arithmetic progression. We learned what is an AP, how to identify the first term and the common difference and even how to find the nth term of an AP. So we have many more contents coming up. So see you in next video. Till then, bye.